Happy Mother's Day. Today, I really wanted to paint gouache in jellyfish. Wait, what? Okay, what I really meant is that I'm painting jellyfish with gouache. Oof, there we go. <laughs> So for this piece, I really wanted the composition to be different. I was really craving a dynamic, interesting, different composition. And so to do that, I used washi tape and just laid them down in odd squares and just put and just found some really nice references for jellyfish and then just sketched them in. So while diving into this new piece, I came with the intention of making the, all the jellyfish different, as in like different kinds of jellyfish, different breeds. I really wanted this piece to be in interesting, I guess. Um, so I did different kinds of jellyfish with different colors and different backgrounds. And that was very interesting how that played out. <laughs> So with this first layer, I really wanted it to be the skeleton of the piece. It really help, just helps me to build up to the more opaque, more refined layers so I can kind of see how everything will work out. Um, so it's not like everything's set in stone when by the first layer. So I can always make color corrections, anatomy corrections and all that good stuff when after the first layer. So ignore that dog that was barking. <laughs> the inspiration of this piece really came, came from this artist I follow that paints really nice underwater scenes with really vibrant colors and jellyfish and all these cute little sea creatures with these mermaid gals. And I thought that was pretty cool. And she drew the jellyfish so well, and I really, really loved that. Um, and then from there, I kind of felt inspired to sketch some jellyfish, so I sketched some in my sketchbook. And that was lots of fun, and they were really cute and flowy. Um, and so that really led on to me to try out this piece, to try out these semi-see-through creatures, but on opaque paint which was a challenge. Um, I felt like I really could have executed it better in watercolor or maybe even in oil. Um, but yeah, it was very interesting and I felt like I definitely learned from it. So in this painting process, you will find me often jumping around the piece and kind of spending time, more time on one part of the piece than others, and just kind of jumping back and forth from one, one jellyfish section to another, just so that I don't kind of get bored, I guess, and working on this one piece and then finishing it and still having all the other ones to do. It just really feels nice to build a, them all up on a somewhat equal level um, so I can each see all of them grow each through like these first, second, and third stages of painting. So my main goal for this piece was to, well, to paint jellyfish, but to paint them in gouache. And I really wanted to take my time working on this piece. This piece took a couple of weeks, by the way, <laughs> of on and off, but it took it, but I really wanted to take my time and really kind of build up the details and not have them just be cute little sketchy blobs, all kind of cute and gesturally, but I really wanted to work out the detail and to really know it was jellyfish and to really spend some time studying 
like the texture of the jellyfish, the colors, the composition, their anatomy, and that was a lot of fun. So in doing the detail of these jellyfish, it really brought my attention to the different textures in these separate jellyfish sections. Um, like one had like semi apparent layers and had a little glowy thing on top and the other one has these little fray things coming out from the bottom others have spots others you know and others had strings and others don't didn't have little stingy strings and so i thought that was really cool though because it really made each and every one of them separate from all the other ones and made them their own little character their own little thing it made them them <laughs> So some of these challenges that I did face though was matching some of the colors with the um, reference photo just because gouache naturally with the lights dry darker and then the darker dries lighter so the values were difficult as well um, but yeah trying to keep up with the picture I guess with it because jellyfish look so see-through and really weird it was kind of hard to capture that with an opaque medium um and doing something that i've never done before but that was part of the challenge but you know it was pretty good it was a pretty fun struggle <laughs> um let's see any other challenges um it was kind of hard to get everything on this sort of layout that was different like basically fitting everything in a way that was still aesthetically pleasing and looked nice but fit inside the borders that I had made. That was really interesting, choosing kind of what jellyfish goes where. Um, yep. Some of the texture for certain uh, jellyfish was kind of difficult, like especially the top left one. I tried different things, I changed a few different things, I had to make things brighter, darker, you know, came up with new techniques, trying to put my own spin on it. So that was really interesting as well. Um, yeah, kind of also having the balance of keeping the gouache paint both fluent, fluid and flowing and still opaque and keeping up with the reference photo was kind of challenging. Um, uh, for the top two with the little stringy parts soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, those were kind of... I guess it was sort of a challenge. I don't know. What I did enjoy about this piece was... Um, having, having to have... To switch my mindset in a different way for each of the jellyfish just because they were very different. Um, you know, mixing colors, trying to correlate them as close as I, closely as I could with the reference. Um, a lot of the fun did come from the challenge and growing through that. Yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> um, 
I really did enjoy the new composition just because this isn't something that I do very often. This is something quite new and you know doing something in a lot of detail is a little new. <laughs> so that was definitely a lot of fun. Um, I did enjoy the stringy things. I did, I did also really enjoy like the shadows and the highlights and just some of the richness of the color, especially on the, like the little lower jellyfish. Um, yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Thank you, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Sorry that this one was posted uh, a lot later than usual, but I still hope that you guys really enjoyed it. Um, yep, bye. <laughs>